This tank is the Progetto 46, it's an Italian uh, tier 8 medium tank. The map is Epic Normandy in the frontline game mode. Uh, on Cap B, I usually like to snipe from the eastern side. It can be a little bit difficult because the enemy can come from Cap C in order to snipe from across the river. Uh, and I'd usually like to take the most forward position over here. I let my allies take the easier positions, and I tend to take the riskier position, which requires a little bit more skill, because I'm obviously a more skilled player. Now, I'm going to go for a full reload, so I'm going to reverse. It's safer to reverse and be out of the sight of the enemy. I don't have six cents on this tank, so I don't know if I'm spotted. And then I'm gonna pull back when I'm ready and do the same maneuver. There are tanks that will show up directly in front of me and can potentially spot me, but because I have a lot of allies, they're usually gonna suppress them and keep them down. And even though this seems like a dangerous position, you can actually go pretty far forward. You're going to see games where I take this position and I go well deep onto the enemy side. If there's nobody on my left, it could easily go far forward. Okay, so we can see that an M46KR showed up in this area. He's kind of pointing his gun at me. It's possible that he may have respawned because of a tank that I was shooting at earlier that died, for example. So I gotta be aware of what he's doing. And he can only come out so far. And I'm not saying that they won't come after you. I've had tanks come after me, but in general, they won't. A well-armored tank might, or an autoloader might, but most tanks won't. You can also see that we have a Ferdinand who's on the other side of the river taking up a distant sniping position. And I'm not gonna say that it's, I'm not gonna say that it's a bad position, but what I'm gonna say is it's not a strong position. And the reason why is because it's gonna be, uh, you're gonna have a lot fewer opportunities and you don't have the ability to reposition easily. So here's an example of, of me showing you how far deep I can go uh, into the enemy territory. And that guy obviously knows that I'm here. Yeah, so now I'm spotted and someone's taking shots at me. So obviously I have to play more defensively. But here's an example of a nice shot you can take. Uh, you, can, uh, you can suppress fire from any tank that goes up on that ridge. Usually I don't give up this position. Pretty much I'm gonna stay here until, uh, until we've dealt with the enemy. You can see that there's a plane flying overhead. I'm not sure if he's returning from a recon mission and I'm not sure if he's going over our base, but he's definitely there. So I've taken a lot of damage. Normally what I would do in this case is I would go back for repairs. You'll notice that our 112 is low on hit points. He should also go back for repairs. I'm gonna speed it up a little. Okay, so unfortunately I was killed on the way to the cap. I believe that the SU-101 that was up on that hill sniped me on the way to the uh, repair place, and I advised the 112 in the chat. I told him to watch out for that SU-101 because he could potentially kill that, that 112 while he's on the way to that cap. So now we've lost the 112, me, and the FCM-50T. Uh, the Ferdinand had no reason to stay there. Uh, so now the enemy is able to cap B. They took, we, we were down four tanks on that flank. Uh, with us there, the enemy was incapable of doing anything. 
Shows you the importance of keeping someone on that flank. Now they got three tanks on the cap. Uh, what I'm doing is I stopped to advise my allies to drop RD on cap B. And you can drop from anywhere. Anybody on your team can drop artillery on that cap. And if you see messages where, where someone's doing that, check to see if you are able to use your combat reserve and help out your team. We did get a reset. Missed my shot. So I was able to kill the T-32FL, it took three shots, took him out of the game. I wonder if that SU-101 came after me. No, 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 he would not have been able to respawn into the same tank. Yeah, I remember this when I was playing that I got a little stuck over here. And you can see that the 112 did make it to repairs and did make it back. Unless perhaps the SU-101 went for repairs. That must have been what happened. So you can see I'm taking up my defensive position again. There's only five assault tanks and one SPG in our flank right now. There's a recon flight going overhead. But I don't see the plane. I hear the plane in the audio, but I didn't see anything. So as soon as my artillery is ready, I drop it immediately. I find a vulnerable tank. There was a KV-5 sitting there doing nothing. Now you can see how deep I can go into enemy territory along the red line. You can see we really control the enemy territory right now. So we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna drop uh, an airstrike again on the KV-5. Yeah, he deserved, yeah, he deserved that. That was an easy kill on that T-34. So again, it's the Ferdinand, the 112 me, and now we have an LTTB. Uh, perhaps he is the FCM 50T that we saw earlier. But we're doing a good, we're doing a good job. We control that base right now, so they will not be able to cap. Missed a key shot but he was taken out by the LTTB. We are really pushing them back. So the KV-5, even though I dropped an airstrike on him, he was able to get a repair. We are really dominating on this flank. They only have uh, three tanks and an SPG in the game. If I were playing this today, I would not be punishing the enemy so much. And the reason why is because all of their allies have to wait perhaps two minutes to respawn. And I don't want to sit here waiting for them to respawn. I want to be out there shooting at tanks. So what I would do in this case is I would respawn on another flank. So we got a choice between uh, the cap A and the cap F. It looks like I'm looking for my Progetto. And I probably realized that the cap that I'm at isn't going anywhere. There's gonna be no targets. Okay, so I decided to switch to cap A. And I'm pretty good at cap A. Cap C, I would go out with a heavy tank 
or something with strong frontal armor. Cap A, you want an autoloader, or I would do a light tank, or any fast tank. And it looks like they're about to cap. We are seconds away. Okay, we got a lot of time. We got 30 seconds uh, before they cap. So I have a good feeling we're going to be able to reset this cap. We got a lot of support tanks. But we don't have a lot of people to defend us. So it's going to be a risky game. Take him out. That's one. I didn't get the ram because he tracked me. I could have done a lot of damage with that ram. So I did get promoted to major. Uh, but that was clearly a suicide run. But the good thing is that my allies have taken up sniping positions and we've got some uh, tanks arriving at that base who are gonna help reset that cap. Okay, so I fast forwarded it. We've got one minute left in the game. I know this is gonna be an easy win, so it's possible that the game's gonna be over in one minute. Did they just cap C? Or did they cap C a long time ago? Let's take a look. Okay, so right now it's, it's all or nothing with cap A. If we reset this cap, then we're safe. They've got a minute, 10 seconds, so I'm gonna go in and suicide, do as much damage as I can. Gotta do damage. Gotta do damage. Gotta do damage. Ah, lousy driving. Hit that IS-6 once. But I did get spotting damage on that AM, on the AMX-5100 autoloader. Uh, who was at the cap earlier. Okay, so they got 40 seconds left. And I don't think they can do it. 10 seconds left. So this was an easy win. I didn't see how much damage I did. I believe I made it up to major. Oh, they got overtime. Okay, that's the game. I did get up to major. I did 4,700 damage, 900 spotting damage.